Hey guys, it's Daniel, Arms Family Homestead here. Hey, the gardening season's fixing to really ramp up. We had a good frost about two nights ago and the weather looks great from here on out for the next 10 days, two weeks, something like that. No sign of frost. So come out today, I got the tractor out, plant everything on a raised bed. Um, not, you know, that's nothing I thought of. I kind of stole this idea from Donald, the Bayou Gardener. He kind of got me started on that with all of his videos. And I've done it the last several years. I really love being able to plant on those raised rows. It gets my, my plants up off ground level. So when it rains, we get a big flood. It doesn't get flooded out. Um, I also do drip tape, um, T-tape, whatever you want to call it, drip line irrigation system. I'll kind of go over a walk through of that real quick. Um, you can see I kind of got, I'll pan around here a little bit. Got most of my rows pulled up on the garden today. I did half. I divided this thing down the middle. So about 50 feet and 50 feet. This end's got 11 rows on it. I say this end, let me. This end has 11 raised rows. And then the back side, you can see I spread them out. You see how far it is between those? It gives me a little room where I can get in there with the tiller and till the middles. And I can plant things like watermelon, cantaloupe that need more space, maybe some okra or something like that. So uh, we just planted a few things today. Me and Houston got out and planted some uh, contender green beans. They're jumping on the trampoline. That's all that racket, I'm sorry. <laughs> Kids are on the trampoline, it's beautiful weather here. But anyways, we planted a few green beans today. Uh, we started a whole lot more seeds in my uh, in my little seed tray. So we got a lot of things coming. The greenhouse pad back here is ready, just waiting on the rest of the materials. I uh, got all the posts set in concrete and uh, it's just right here on the back side of my garden. So I'm really excited about that. Hopefully in the next week or two, we'll have our high tunnel up and then we can get it filled up with all these little seedlings we've got in this little Little tunnel right there i've been putting all my seed trays in it and it gets hot during the day and i close it at night so it's just a little mini greenhouse for my seedlings so as soon as greenhouse gets up seedlings get to rocking along get a little bigger then we'll have them in the greenhouse so i can't wait to share those videos with you guys so i'm gonna give you a quick rundown on my drip irrigation system my main water line comes up out of the ground i put a y on there just so i can hook my water hose up and do some regular watering and then I've got a timer on there, a little digital timer. I love that thing, shuts my water off automatically. <laughs> and I don't leave my drip tape on overnight. So it comes down to a you know, tease off and I've got two ball valves on there. Just hadn't got the other side hooked up yet. This side, that's my main line that goes all the way across my garden. Okay. And then I come along on top of every row and put a little valve on here. Okay, where you can shut each line off or leave them on, however you want to do it. And you put that T-tape, I need to line it up a little better, but it just waters right down the top of that row. Guys, this is one thing right here that I would highly recommend you do. If you, if you do anything at all to help yourself in the garden, invest in a drip irrigation system. It saves so much water. And when, you know, the old style, if I had a sprinkler out here and I water and I water everything across here, all that grass, all those weeds in my walkways just get thick. But with this drip tape, I'm only watering right where my seeds and my plants are going to be. So it's awesome. I love it. Well, guys, that's all I've got for today. Uh, garden's still a little slow right now. We'll get a whole lot going here pretty soon. We'll have this thing full. And uh, we'll have all kinds of things growing in here. Plus, we'll have a high tunnel greenhouse right back there. So it's going to be a good year, I hope. Stick with us, guys. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.